the bull market back on? We had a massive pump last night. Why? What, what, what's up with that? What caused the Bitcoin pump? Are we out of the woods right now? Are we headed back to new all-time highs? How are we supposed to play this market? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video, okay? We're going to talk about the easiest way to make money on this news. What just happened last night was pretty important. We're going to, I'm going to talk about how you can make money on this. And then we're going to talk about a step-by-step -step prediction. we got a million things happening in the world right now. It's very, very complicated. I'm going to show you how it's all going to connect and how you can make the most money from this move. So watch this video. Here we go. Welcome to The Kale Show. Guys, if you could do me a huge favor and smash the like button, that would be incredible. Yesterday on the, on the channel, if you would have smashed the like button here, we would have had some good karma. And we, I told you guys that when, if we got this executive order that was going to be, you know, kind of like a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Anticlimactic, we were going to have a move above $40,000. I was showing you that right here in yesterday's video. So we, it, it happened exactly like I said, except it was a little bit more violent. We went all the way from $39,000 all the way up to $42,000. And you're probably wondering, Kale, what the hell? Why did, we, why did we go up in the middle of the night? It's because we had this executive order that is, that is coming out. I guess people were scared about this. I guess they, were, they thought that Biden was going to like ban Bitcoin or something. But what happened is it leaked a day early. It leaked last night that he wasn't going to do anything to Bitcoin. Basically, it was very anticlimactic for all those people that were like, oh, the U.S. government is going to ban Bitcoin. It, it's just, you know, that's not what it said. And I, I called this like days ago. I said, I personally think we're going to bounce on this executive order, which is why I haven't shorted yet, right? I thought we were going to get a nice juicy bounce because I knew they weren't going to do anything to, to Bitcoin. And, and this was so obvious. So I don't know, guys. You can definitely make money trading news right now. So if you just pay attention, if you're on Twitter, there's so much opportunity in this market. A lot of people are quitting. A lot of people, obviously, we're not getting as many views because... People are quitting the markets, but there's still so many opportunities. Like this, this move from from 39,000 to 42,000, that would have been a juicy move and pretty easy to anticipate, honestly. So if you're ready, to, if you're still here and you're watching and you're still wanting to make money in this market, please smash the like button. It really, it really does help the algorithm. Thank you so much. Um, so I also, you know, I also said that this order is kind of just gobbledygook, just totally like it, it's good for Bitcoin, right? This executive order. So you're probably wondering like, okay, the government's not going to ban Bitcoin. This is great. The bull market's back on. Let's go all the way to the moon, baby. But uh, I hate to break it to you guys. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to race it. I just, I, I think it's too soon. I'm just going to tell you why I don't think we're going back to all time highs here. And it's because we have a few events that all have to line up. Remember I told you that we, we have a step-by-step -step process here, right? Step-by-step -step prediction. There are three things, three things, just to keep it simple, that are controlling the price of Bitcoin right now, okay? The first one is inflation, and we have a big news event. Remember how last night a news event, this news event right here, caused Bitcoin to go up? Well, we have a news event tomorrow at 8.30 Eastern. It is called CPI data, okay? CPI is inflation, and I will just show you guys how you can make money tomorrow. Ready? You ready for an instant money-making strategy? Okay, let me just draw it out for you. Tomorrow, the data will be released at 8.30 a.m., okay? Here's what's going to happen. The number to watch is 7.9%. I know that seems crazy, 7.9% inflation in the United States. Trust me, it's, it's a lot higher than this in reality. This is crazy, that's why your gas is so expensive, all that stuff. But this is what is expected. The market expects 7.9%, okay? This is what's expected tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. So when the data comes out, if it is below, okay? Let's say that it comes in around 7.7%. If it is below, so we'll put 7.9 up here, 7.7%, that means that Bitcoin will go up. Okay, if it is above 7.9%, let's say it's 8.1% or higher, okay, Bitcoin will go down. If it is in the middle, if it's exactly 7.9%, it will probably go sideways. Does that make sense? Do you guys have it? That is very easy trade. So what you can be doing is you can be watching Twitter. There will be bots that are trading this, so be careful. But if you're if you're ready to go and you have money and you're and you're ready to go, you could just be sitting here watching Twitter, scrolling, 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 refresh, 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 and it will come out. And if it's above 7.9%, I would inc I would think that a short would make sense. Okay, just just so you know, if it's below, you could, you could long. Now that's event number one. That is inflation data. That is going to be followed up by an event that is even more important, which is on March 15th. Um, so that is early next week, which is the FOMC, which is the Federal Reserve talking about the money printer. You guys know I talk about this all the time. So what they're going to do is they're going to take this CPI data. They're going to take all this information about all this craziness that's happening in the world, right? And they are going to tell you if they're going to raise interest rates. Now, right now, let me just show you another one that you can make money on. Just simple, easy hacks, guys. This is, this is, this is not rocket science. Let me just delete all this. 
Let me just start a new sketch. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, don't save. Okay, new sketch. New sketch. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm making you guys so much money on one video, so share this with someone if it's helping you, okay? So for the FOMC meeting, what's the big news? What's What are we trading on the FOMC meeting? We're trading rate hikes equals rate hikes, okay? Rate hikes are, are expected to come in. We are expected to raise the interest rate by 25 BPS, 25 BPS, okay? Can you guys read that? It means basis points, you know, it's, it's a small little rate hike. That is what is expected, 25 BPS. Sorry, my handwriting sucks, okay? Now, if we are below, this, it's very unlikely that it's going to be anything different than 25 BPS. I think it will be 25, okay? If it's 25, anything could happen. It could be just a choppy market, right? If it's below 25, then we are going to get in, oh, it, it, I'll, excuse me, I, I drew that wrong. If it's like zero, if they don't raise rate, if zero, zero BPS rate hike, then we are going up. Bitcoin is definitely going up, okay? If it is like a, a higher rate hike, this is not gonna happen, but if it's like a 50 BPS, 50 BPS, then it is Bitcoin is going to get absolutely crushed. Okay, so that's your that's your news. If you're watching this, if you're watching the the uh, meeting, then you can just easily trade this. I do think it's going to come in at at at, at 25 basis points though, and this will not be much of a a shocker there. What will be interesting to watch is if you just watch actually watch the conference and actually watch your Twitter feed while while Jerome Powell is talking. The more harsh he is, the more hawkish he is. If he starts saying things like "We are going to lift off." If he starts saying things like we are going to um, keep continue to raise interest rates, if he starts saying things like we are going to reduce accommodation, these are all gobbledygook speak that the government uses, which means that they are going to slow down the money printer, okay? So you can literally watch it live and you can watch it on Twitter and people will be live, I'll be live tweeting it, everyone will be live tweeting it, and they'll be telling you, is this good or bad for Bitcoin? And, and if he's hawkish, if he's saying we're going to slow down the money printer, that means that Bitcoin will go down. Okay, So you can easily trade this news and make money in this market. So that's two things, guys. The CPI data release is one news event happening tomorrow. The FOMC is happening next week. And then the third one is this Russia-Ukraine thing. Obviously, guys, it says ceasefire talks are at a critical point. In my opinion, if we get a ceasefire, that is going to be very, very huge. for. It's going to be amazing for Bitcoin. If we get continued aggression, if we start dropping, you know, I, I probably shouldn't say that word on YouTube, but if we start dropping stuff from the sky here, um, obviously, Bitcoin's not going to like that, okay? And so I just gave you the three biggest things that are actually controlling the market. Now, Here's why I am actually in a Bitcoin short, and I'll show you the exact levels why I am shorting Bitcoin, while I am predicting that Bitcoin will go down in the short term. In the long term, guys, you guys know I'm a mega bull long term. Like, I obviously believe that over a course of two, three years here, we're going to be above 100K, obviously. That's not even a question in my mind, right? Because this is exactly what Bitcoin was made for. All of this stuff that's happening right now is what Bitcoin was made for, but all the maximalists are telling you that, oh, if Bitcoin's going up immediately, because this is what it was made for. Well, here's the thing. Yes, it is what it was made for, but it still requires people to understand that. And I think that we are about one to two years away from people actually understanding that Bitcoin is the solution to some of this stuff. Freezing money, uh, bank accounts getting frozen, gold being frozen, all this stuff that's happening in the world. Bitcoin is the solution, but people don't understand that yet, okay? And so in the, in the, in the medium short term, I think that it's gonna be treated just like a risk asset, just like the NASDAQ, just like all of these other stocks, okay? And that is why I am, I am trying to build up a short position here because it is my opinion, I do not think that it's a very likely chance that all three of these things go well, okay? It could, I, maybe like, maybe 20% chance, 20% chance that the CPI data for February is super low, that would be good for Bitcoin. 20, uh, that uh, Jerome Powell is super dovish, he doesn't raise rates, that would be super good for Bitcoin. And that we get a ceasefire. If we get all three of those, it just seems unlikely that we're gonna get all three, right? I think we need all three in order to head back to all-time highs. So in, so right now, the trend is your friend, right? We have been in a bearish trend and I'm, I'm looking to capitalize on a move down into the 30K range again, make money on the way down and then buy back in down here, okay? And so here's the exact levels I'm watching before I make this video too long. Right now, we're at about a, a key resistance level at 42,000. It looks like we're, we're, we're breaking it, we're consolidating here, which is nice. I'm already in a short position, I'm down a little bit there, but I'm gonna scale into this position, okay? 43K is another very important level, and this is, I'm not even good at TA, guys, but this is just obvious, right? If you look at this, how many times have we interacted with 43K? Right here, right here, right here, and this is on a, I mean, right here, right here, right here. I mean, we have interacted with 43K so many times on this chart 
that it is, it's just a huge level. It's just an absolutely huge level. And so once we get up there, if we are able, if we're rejected, like I, like I'm drawing here at 43 K, that is a perfect short entry to head down back to like $40,000. If we break through $40,000, I think we could head even lower, maybe to like $36,000 or something like that. Okay. So that is how I'm planning on making money. And the same thing for Ethereum. I usually don't chart out both things. I would just, tr whenever I enter the short on Bitcoin, I will also enter the short on Ethereum and Ethereum actually looks pretty weak guys. I stole this chart from Pentoshi, obviously um, the guy's an absolute beast, but uh, this is the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. It's very, very easy to see that we are in this like wedge. And if this wedge breaks down, it looks like P Pentoshi thinks we're headed down to this level, which means that Ethereum will, will, will underperform Bitcoin, right? And so it looks like we're going to break down on that chart, which isn't good for altcoins, which isn't good for anything other than Bitcoin, to be honest. So an Ethereum short might actually be better than a Bitcoin short. I'm just shorting I'm just basing it all on the price of Bitcoin. Does that make sense? So that's that's my plan. It, it may or may not work out. We may go straight to the moon. We may get all three of these things to be good. I just don't think that that percentage chance, the risk reward is there, right? And here's the kicker, guys. Here's why I'm really just trying to be patient. I'm a, I, Trust me, guys. I'm the biggest bull as well. Like, I want to be sitting here with my hood up like, let's go, baby, to the moon. You know, but I, there's one big kicker. Before I tell you the big kicker and why I... Um, why I just can't get bullish right now. The last piece of the puzzle, okay, real quick, I gotta talk about the show sponsor, blockfi.com slash kale. Go check it out. This is not for US customers, okay? This is only intended for non-US people. Blockfi.com slash kale. You can earn interest on your Bitcoin, on your crypto. It's amazing. Non-US only. I was I am told that I need to make sure and clarify that. Okay, so blockfi.com slash kale for non-US people. And two plus two Genesis, you guys know I, I just talked all about this all day. I actually have an AMA in a couple hours, 11.30 a.m. Eastern with me, and I'm talking in the Discord, answering all your questions live. It's gonna be amazing. We have AMAs all the time. We have whitelists all the time. We have a pencil token. We have so much stuff going on in this project. Check it out. There's a link below every single video. All right, let's get on to the last part. This is why I can't get on board with all these mega bulls that are like, bull market's back on. We're going to the moon. We're doing it right now. Here's the thing. Gas prices. Record gas prices, oh my gosh, is this real? And record gas prices feel like a slap in the face and there's more to come. When you have articles like this coming out, I mean, and you have people talking about it, right? If, if I could think of like one water cooler topic for America, it's it's gas prices, right? People will, if you, if you don't have anything to talk about, you're like, well, the weather or the gas prices, right? So it's like very top of mind for America. And so... While this CPI print in this month may or may not, I, I don't really know. It may be under 7.9. It may be over 7.9. I don't really know. What I do know is that in April, when we have this inflation number come out, these <laughs> it's going to be horrible. It's going to be absolutely bad. It could be above 10% inflation because of what is happening with shutting off all oil from Russia, wheat, all of these, all of these things are going to take time to have effects on America, but make no mistake, they are going to have an effect on America. And so when, when the prices at the pump start seeing five, six, seven, eight dollars, when Tesla's start selling for like double what they used to be going for and everyone wants an electric vehicle. I just think that th that's not going to be great. I think that markets are not going to be able to absorb that much pain in this short amount of time. And I think that we are headed towards a sort of recessionary summer, right? A summer where we have kind of a, a lower, uh, just a bunch of, of boring price action and lower lows in the, in the market. And so that's, that's just how I see it right now. It could all change if we get good information here, here, and here, like I just said. However, 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 I think that the, the, the risk reward is in the favor of the bears still. And if we are able to get this beautiful setup here at 43K, I know it looks weird now, but if we're able to get this setup at 43K, I think that we could make a ton of money on the way down, buy back in and go right back up. So if that sounds good to you guys, do me one huge favor. Please, please, please just smash the like button on this video. That would really help me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.